Netflix changes its mind on net neutrality and the FCC regulating the field. The company's chief financial officer, David Wells, told an investor conference Wednesday that Netflix isn't pleased about the Federal Communications Commission recent vote on net neutrality, which slapped strong new rules on internet providers. It's a shocking admission for a company that led the charge on aggressive regulations for Comcast, Verizon, and other broadband companies. Last week, the FCC handed web companies a big victory when it decided to regulate internet providers under Title II of the Communication Act, just like legacy telephone companies. Given how vo vocally Netflix was advocating for Title II, it's surprising to see Wells suddenly throwing the regulations under the bus as Variety is reporting. Quote, were we pleased it published a push to Title II? Probably not. We were hoping there would be a non-regulated solution, said Wells, according to Variety. Opponents of the SEC's net neutrality rules were quick to pounce. Quote, This must be a storyline for a very bad Netflix movie, said Randolph May, president of the Free State Foundation. I don't know whether it's a comedy or a tragedy. Out of context, Wells' quote certainly sounds uh, damning on its own, but Netflix spokeswoman Anne Mary Marie Squeo denied that Wells was actually condemning the strong measures. Quote, David was simply trying to convey the evolution in our thinking, said Squeo, and give some sense of how our initial position evolved over time from an industry agreement to a regulatory solution. In short, Netflix is trying to say that it's not turning its back on net neutrality. It's a tough argument to make, however, in the wake of pieces in Gigwam and The Verge that highlight a controversial deal Netflix just struck in Australia. That deal appears to violate the spirit of net neutrality because it exempts Netflix from user data caps, a practice that the FCC has said it would look at askance here in the United States. In response to charges of hypocrisy by The Verge, Squeo said other content companies in Australia commonly struck such deals. Quote, we won't put our new members at a disadvantage to those of rival services, said Squeo. In some ways, the Australian data cap deal is not unlike the way Netflix held its nose and signed a set of paid agreements with Comcast, Verizon, and other U.S. internet providers last year, said a Netflix official, who spoke on condition of anonymity because the terms of the deal were confidential. Quote, we don't endorse ISPs having data caps or a zero rating, exempt content from data caps for a fee, but what are you supposed to do? Not launch in Australia, the official said. Even if Netflix's argument is that it's simply playing lo by local rules, the whole situation looks pretty bad for Netflix politically. Wells remarked Wednesday don't help matters. They simply add to the impression that Netflix secretly doesn't like the FCC's net neutrality rules. But it's important to keep in mind the bigger picture. Netflix spent months arguing before the FCC that the agency should use strong rules such as Section 201, Section 202, and Section 208 of the Communications Act to regulate internet providers. It explicitly called for broadband companies to be regulated with the same law used to regulate legacy telephone service. To think that Netflix was up to some head fake play here doesn't make much sense. It's clear Netflix much preferred that the private sector come up with a voluntary solution so that it didn't have to pay Comcast, Verizon, and other internet providers a fee to send its videos to consumers. What it really wanted was something called settlement-free peering the transfer of its content with no money changing hands. When it realized that that wasn't going to happen, it lobbied the FCC for regulation. So as Wells really displeased about Title II, insofar as he wasn't able to get his ideal outcome, industry self-regulation? Sure, but that probably doesn't mean Netflix is somehow opposed to Title II now. What do you think? Is Netflix trying to play both sides of the aisles and have regulation, but have it in private hands and not in public hands? Tell me what you think below. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.